I've sworn to do very foolish things with me cook. Ready for fingerprinting? <laughs> it's, fucking, it's fucking cold. Dude, I'm not, I'm not lying, dude. It feels like Sub Zero is out here casting a fucking spell. It's not like, even that cold. It fucking, dude. The wind is cold when it comes, and it's like it's like an STD after you have a night with Courtney Love. It just hits you, and it's fucking cold. And when the, the wind blows, I can smell. This shit is colder than my ex-wife's heart, and that's fucking deep freeze. It's just snatched. It's just my pinball is about ready to go full tilt. Tom Hardy's new show, Taboo, is a big mystery. Nobody knew what the fuck it was about. He dressed himself up in oil paint and went out for a walk. Yeah, have a coffee drop. Did you spill my coffee? Yeah, you did. Awesome. Much like you spill your seed. I mean, it's Tom Hardy in a TV show, which is amazing in and of itself. And it's also produced by him along with Ridley Scott, which you know it's going to be good. And you know what, guys? For the first 20 to 25 minutes as they're introducing the characters and kind of what he's really doing there, he's basically back from Africa and parts unknown in the world uh, where people assumed he was dead for years to take over his father's ship company the Delaney shipping company and also handled the East India bitches of Britain and deal with them and they're it's wanting like, to buy a piece of land that his father bequeathed to him <laughs> he said, queef. Queef. you know he's gonna deal with them and they want that piece of land they're like it's 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 not it's not worth anything but why, but, we, why don't we give you like 50 pounds for it and he's like just go fuck yourself. Ain't nothing but Indians and rocks over a man. He's yeah. like, they're my rocks. And apparently there's a lot of unspoken history and some bad blood between him and his half-sister, even though there's a weird like thing going on there, too. He was like, yeah, yeah, he's like, no matter, even though I'm back from Africa, my love for you never changed. I'm like, it's an Epcot. Yeah, Epcot <laughs> No, it's a lot it was like, a great uh, deal. it's all like Gladiator, man, like Joaquin Phoenix trying to bang his sister yeah, for a two and a half hour this is, movie. That was Ridley what, Scott, also. But Joaquin Phoenix was a bad guy. I mean, he, that made, you know, okay, you're a bad guy. He walked the line. Hey, Ridley well, Scott, why are you trying to fuck people's sisters, man? Mainly your own. That shit's Cause that's what you do after high school as far as like 20 25 minutes as you're being introduced to this situation and what it's all about uh it, it's kind of a slow burner it's kind of it, some would even say downtown abbey-ish boring sometimes like the the dialogue not bad it's just kind of overladen uh eventually though there's one scene specifically that really i think it kicks off around 24 minutes in or 25 minutes in where you get like this flashback freeze frame shot of like a grudge girl like in the friggin like muddy water and i'm like god damn ufc wrestling mud rat mud wrestling or something like the hot goth looking chick from uh oh, she was, man, what's her name eva green eva green she does but except when they got a close-up and she was all cracked up i was like bitch you need all of the tom hardy though is a badass he like, is he carries so the good. whole damn thing and really his good. his lines the writing and it's really really good because his retorts to every time someone says anything to him are fucking classic and he kind of acts like he did in the warrior uh because yeah. he's unpredictable and he's dangerous and you don't know where he's going to turn but like and there's Bane. one yeah and there's one specific scene well he got rid of the asthma so but uh there's one specific scene when he goes to the brothel and he's talking to this hooker and she's like uh basically threatening Threatening him that she can send these guys after him to beat his ass up if she if she uh if he doesn't allow her to keep her business there and he's like you send 12 guys up to me I'm gonna send back 12 of their testicles in bags and then watch your bitches eat that bag of testicles and then cut your tits off <laughs> and she's like oh well not to mess with you it's like this I don't know he's into this, like some kind of a cult shit I don't know there's something like brewing he just walks into his dad's uh the room where his dad's dead body is and he's like I need these two quarters <laughs> yeah and then he goes and he puts him in the bin so I thought he was like broke like a beggar or something yeah like, I like to once hear that guy said he's like you look the same and he's like I'm not yeah he got mad about that you know what that is that's when like you spend all summer like this is my year at school and you get to school at like freshman year and they're like you look the same and you're like I'm not that's bullshit I have at least three more hairs on my face <laughs> speaking of the black magic and voodoo angle I don't know what it is specifically don't be like it's not whole black magic is there's black and white magic we're all together but uh i'm saying but whatever that angle they're going for it's it's a lot of intrigue around <laughs> it that ronald mcdonald white ass magic <laughs> that's just like if you want a happy meal you snap your fingers and it's, it's there. fucking creepy <laughs> clown that gives kids toys yeah that's always been that's weird cool. and you you can sit on his lap and like Fuck, I thought Ronald was coming up here like nobody talks about my Big Macs. The black magic uh, voodoo angle they're going with, it's like I said, it's adding enough intrigue and mystery to it that you you really want to keep going. Not just the fact that Tom Hardy's an amazing actor and it's awesome to see him back in anything again, especially this is going to be like eight or 12 episodes or whatever we're going to get. But having that in it, it just adds a lot more questions and stuff. You already know he's a badass, but you want to know like where he's been and what he's been doing and how he's got these yeah. apparently gifts. And you know he's on that slave ship. And what I think is that he buried some diamonds or whatever yeah. in that in that bushel or whatever it was because what happened on the slave ship was obviously he let a bunch of slaves yeah. die because you see that badass scene yeah, of that, that dude scary, that yeah. dude's scary as fuck he's man. tall yeah he it's comes like, back that was to the lunch one nothing my house. <laughs> <laughs> it was a minute bowl it was a minute bowl I mean yeah <laughs> again the writing I go back to the writing is so good in this when he's talking about that it's like you have no fear left to get or what 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 was it he said uh, when when they're trying to he was starting to have basically a panic attack <laughs> fuck he's all right man you're gonna be okay shit he's starting to have a panic attack and just don't do what that. What the fuck? No. What? 
nothing. Oh. It's like, I, you know, you have no... F I forgot the fucking line. Well, because you're talking about the Blair well, Witch over shit. there. But he's like, no, you have no fear left to get from me. And he starts to freak out. But just the way he says stuff, when the High Sparrow from fucking Game of Thrones brings him to that meeting because they want his piece of land. My goddamn piece of land, man, get off it. But uh, they want his land, and they're treating him like shit, and I love it. He walks straight in, and he's like, first off, don't fucking talk down to me. Yeah. Secondly, I like your shoes. Al Pacino and Robert De Niro sitting down at a cafe table in heat. You were fucking hanging on every word of moments like that in the show, even though it was just dialogue. This show is already setting up really good, like, 20 fucking asshole villains. Yeah. Like, uh, like, uh, his weird... <sighs> the lights went off there and we nobody go. knows what to do about it, but I'm still here. Hey. Back in. Hey, guys. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> um... But no, you got you got her asshole husband who's like, tell me of Ohio. <laughs> yeah, that guy <laughs> was a there, yeah. dick. And like, it's got he was good though. I know that guy. He was a, he was a, he's a good actor you too. Know, you know him? Yeah, I knew him. I, I, I like was on the train with him not long ago. Why don't you just <laughs> fuck? I got hot popping coffee. It's Perfect. like the pink slime from Ghostbusters. Like you piece of shit. But anyway, so yeah, you're not sleeping with it, are you, Ray? <laughs> <laughs> There's not a whole lot to recap because we don't know these characters yet. We don't know yeah. exactly what's gonna happen. And this this was basically just planting seeds. You plant the plant you plant the seed and then you fuck the plan and basically they haven't fucked us yet well you know what the thing like i said that black magic stuff i'm really interested to see where that's going to go and also he even like knows shit about like what he because you know the butler was telling him that his father before his father died was going to the the shore and like lighting fires and dancing naked and shit not naked but it was just a joke but like like talking to him and he's like i heard him and he was like and he knew all this shit it was like what the fuck is going on why is that think, mangy ass dog following him around i know everywhere? and apparently that was a cool scene too because the guy that was taking care of his son apparently that he doesn't want anything to do with ever he uh, tells him he's like that those dogs only eat like the bodies of the suicides that jump off the bridge i've never seen a tame one before yeah. and that was insane but and then he has a son yeah which he said he doesn't he, but he gives him background i mean he goes through his child support he's like there's my back rent bitch there's the present and the future don't you <laughs> dare come to my door again the dickhead husband of the half sister wants him out of the picture but he's a pussy and he doesn't really want to go and confront him about anything mm -hmm. I mean, I do. There's so much going on here that I can't wait to see where it goes. And I'll tell you what my opinion is. So High far, ass haircut too. Yeah, he on has top a, all that. He has shit. a nice one. It's very a good. Haircut, very man. good. Very good face. It's clean. Uh, what if he was cursed? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if he let the the slaves drown, or if he didn't do enough to save them, and he was cursed by a voodoo priestess. I think I think he might be full of shit, man. Well, I don't know. I mean, your face. Smells I think like he it. might just be saying that. Like, when a kid goes away for six months and he mysteriously disappears, that he comes back and he tells everybody he wasn't gone for six. That months. he learns karate and he's a he's a he's an ancient Egyptian blood belt. You know, yeah, that's true. I, I feel like he that could be a liar, be, but yeah. I'm saying, but I don't. I mean, he was gone for ten years. But eventually, I think something will happen to him. He'll fuck with the wrong person. Actually, as of this point, it's just been vague threats. He's not done anything. I, I'll tell you what. No, I'll take it back. Because actually, if you remember when they mentioned his mom she was bought by the father and she was from Africa and if she had some ties to some tribe and he got some kind of gifts from him it could be any of that stuff but I mean I was going with curse angle because it just makes more sense if he's cursed to like walk the earth and shit I don't know and yeah. see visions that one dude said he'd been fucking pigs that's what he said. He's like, that's what you do over there is fuck pigs. That'll like, fuck you up. Or you've been spinning your nuts. That'll have you come back with a top hat well, saying weird shit, If right? you're at the point in your life that you're fucking pigs in the butt. I love that they make the asshole characters like that, like those those people fucking perfectly asshole, like you hate every bunch of them. They're old men King Joffrey is what they fucking are. Yeah. And then uh, Tom Hardy, even though he's clearly done some bad shit, you can't help but root for him because he's such a badass and he's got all the best lines he does. in the show. I wonder who um, wrote it and is the executive producer. Oh, it's him. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. It's by the director of Locke who, yeah. you know, the, a bunch of good people involved. Do you know Tom Hardy's dad's name is Chip? Chips? Chips? Chips Hardy. Well, that's fucking because his, his mom, his dad's mom was fucking eating potato chips. She was like, I don't fucking know <laughs> Chips. Name him Chips. 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 Chips is name. Yes. Yeah, but he's like, you and your fucking cup. But anyway, so ultimately, I love this show so far already. It's yeah, I'm already giving badass. this fucker a 9.0. Yeah, I give it a 9.0 right there with yeah. you, man. Uh, uh, I mean, I'd, you said it best, brother. <laughs> great show, and I think it's going to be worthy of uh, our attention and anybody else that gives a prop. So. Yeah, I'm signed on. I, I think we should review every episode this season. We probably will. Unless there's 22. I think there's only 8 or, eight or 10. He's got things okay. to do. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, we're, we're going to review all the episodes. We're going to recap them just like we did with American Horror Story, just like we did with Game of Thrones. So subscribe. Be here every week for that shit. Tell your friends. Tell your mom. Pet your dog. Hopefully he hasn't been eating dead people by the fucking beach. And hopefully, you know what that dog is? He's the same dog that Rocky adopted in Rocky Six. That dog's so Oh. Hey, he ain't punchy, you know. Anyways, comment down below. Let us know what you guys thought of the episode. We love your fucking faces. If you do the channel, click that subscribe button and get some goddamn wham opinion.